The saga of Ham, trailblazer in space, is the story of a three-year-old chimpanzee serving the cause of science. The little chimp has been carefully selected, thoroughly examined, and patiently tutored to help mankind discover whether living creatures can survive travel in space. Under the watchful eyes of Air Force scientists, Ham is taught to perform a series of in-flight experiments. By hitting certain levers when lights flash on, the chimp earns a banana-flavored pellet as a reward. After each test and each capsule, there is a sip of water to top off the tasty prize. Ham is but one of several chimps to undergo pre-flight training. Each is outfitted from head to toe with his own spacesuit as he awaits the big day. A special chamber has been built for the little passenger, similar in detail to the capsule that will eventually transport man into space. Seven miles of wiring and 10,000 parts are shaped and stacked layer on layer in an area smaller than a telephone booth. At last, early in 1961, the pre-flight preparations are complete. At Cape Canaveral, the blue-gray space capsule is ready to take its place atop the launching rocket. The minutes are like hours as the countdown is started and follows its methodical measured pace. Only the star of the space drama seems unconcerned at the mounting tension around him as he arrives in typical high spirits for his final checkup. Weighing 37 and a half pounds, Ham will be the largest animal yet to rocket into space and the first creature trained to respond intelligently to signals from Earth. His little chamber is to be hermetically sealed. Lying on a form-fitting couch, the frisky space traveler has been strapped in. His arms are free, and he has a plastic window to look out. The firing is a success. But what of little Ham? Has he survived the tremendous shock of takeoff? Is he alive? Yes. Remarkable motion pictures made in flight show Ham, bottom screen, playing the game of levers and lights just as he has been trained to do. Here in animation, capsule and rocket separate two and a half minutes after launch. Ham is weightless in a world of zero gravity and will be for five full minutes. He appears not to be affected at all as he carries out his assigned tasks. Now the capsule's tiny control rockets turn it down toward Earth after reaching a height of 155 miles. 18 minutes after launching, the space capsule with Ham inside is bobbing in the waters of the Atlantic Ocean, 420 miles from Cape Canaveral. The question on everyone's mind is, how did he take it? And implied in that question is still another. How in the future will man take it? And so, anxiously, impatiently, hopefully, technicians and medical personnel work feverishly to free the amazing creature who has just completed this giant leap into space. They can see him now, but still the plastic cover of the chamber must be removed. Ham has done it. He is safe and well, a hero of space, Happy to be back among friends. A completely contented chimp, he has moved man closer than ever before to his age-old dream of traveling the heavens. Shaking hands all around, he is true to his nickname, Ham, a happy show-off. The story that began on desert sands ends on distant seas. Ham the chimp has journeyed fast and far on Earth 
and in space, showing the way for man to follow, earning the title of Trailblazer in Space.